Making many errors? Not anymore. Hello learners. In today's session, we're going to delve into a very specific, yet crucial part of English grammar. The usage of many in negative and interrogative sentences. This seemingly simple word can greatly impact the meaning of your sentences. By the end of this video, you will gain a thorough understanding and confidence to use many correctly. So, let's get started. Many is a quantifier, and we use it with countable nouns. It helps to indicate a large number or quantity of something. For instance, I have many friends. But, when it comes to negative and interrogative sentences, things might get a bit trickier. When using many in negative sentences, it suggests the absence or the lesser amount of something. For example, I don't have many books. It means that I have a few books or perhaps none at all. Remember, many always comes before the noun it's modifying. In interrogative sentences, many is used to ask about the quantity of something. For instance, how many apples do you have? Here, we're inquiring about the number of apples. As a rule of thumb, many typically comes after the verb do or does and before the noun it's referring to. Now let's apply what we've learned in some practical examples. In a negative sentence, she doesn't have many friends. In an interrogative sentence, how many siblings do you have? Practice forming sentences like these to solidify your understanding. We hope this video has cleared up your doubts and uncertainties about using many in negative and interrogative sentences. English grammar might seem overwhelming at times, but with patience and practice, you will master it. Keep practicing, stay curious, and don't forget to smile because learning is a joyful journey. Until next time, happy learning!